As I stated in the previous video, I already have Ubuntu 24.04 installed on the X4, but now I'll show you how to install the OS if you didn't already have one installed, which is very likely if you just bought the X4. Often videos show how to use Windows or Macs to prep your USB installer stick, but I thought since Linux is already installed, I'd show you how to use Linux. So we're going to click on our browser here, and we are going to, in Google, search for Download Bolina Etcher. And the top one takes you to Bellina's site. And within there, we see the Download Etcher button. And we don't want to download these things up here. We want to get a Deb package. Because this is a Debian flavor of Linux. And right up here, Debian and Ubuntu-based package repository, we're going to click on GitHub release page. That comes up with a list of packages that we can download and we want the deb package. And that is going to be in downloading. And we want to open it with the GDB package installer. And that will let us install Bellina Etcher to our Linux box. Install package. Give my password again. And there goes the installer. We can close everything. The next thing we want to do is download our ISO image for Ubuntu 24.04. The process is the same for other Linux installers. So let's go to ubuntu.com We will click on Ubuntu Flavors because I prefer the cinnamon version. There are 10 flavors that you can install. We're going to scroll down to cinnamon and get Ubuntu Cinnamon. And we are going to download it. And here we are on the Ubuntu Cinnamon 24.04.1 desktop. We want the 64-bit version and as you can see, that's 4.9 gigabytes. It will take it a while to download. Now, let's close the browser and start Bellina Etcher. It's going to be in the Accessories section. We're going to flash from a file, the one we just downloaded. It's in our Downloads folder, and it's already highlighted. We're going to select our target. This one is labeled Ubuntu because I already used it before, but we are going to overwrite it. And we are going to flash it. It has started burning the ISO to the USB stick. Flashing the ISO to the USB stick took about 12 minutes, so now let's close Bellina Etcher, and we are going to restart the X4 and be pressing F7 as it reboots to get into the BIOS. From this screen, we can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to highlight uh, Enter Setup, or we can just select our USB drive and then hit the Enter key and we will boot from the installer where we will select Try or Install Ubuntu with the Enter key. Here we have the familiar boot screen. It takes quite a while to boot into the operating system. Now we have a smaller version of the same thing.
still booting. Finally, we're at the desktop screen. Now we can select the icon for install Ubuntu Cinnamon 24.04.1 LTS. And I think English is good since that's the only language I speak. I don't think we want any accessibility options, so we'll hit Next. I would like an English keyboard. We'll test it out here. Looks good. Next. Connect to a Wi-Fi network. I think we'll use a wired connection instead. And we want an interactive installation. Next. We want the full featured, not the minimal. I say we, but I mean me. And I want third party codecs and media formats and that kind of stuff. And I do not want to install Ubuntu Cinnamon alongside what is also Ubuntu Cinnamon. Instead, we're going to erase the disk and start from scratch on my selected disk. It wants me to select the drive. This is the NVMe drive. That is what I want to install it to. And it wants a name. I think user will do. My computer's name is not going to be user default string. It will be Bratza X4. And it wants a password. And then wants me to confirm the password. That way, if you mistype it, it will notice that they don't match. And I don't want to require my password to log in, but you can. Choose my time zone. And it tells me all the choices that I've made and what it's going to do as far as partitioning on the NVMe drive. So now we just hit Install. Thank you for installing Ubuntu Cinnamon. We hope you enjoy everything there is to offer. I think we'll cut the video right now because this is going to take a while. Now we can restart. And we are given this little message. Please remove the installation medium, then press enter. So. I will remove the USB drive and press enter on the keyboard. And here we are at the Ubuntu Cinnamon desktop. Now we have a pop-up that lets us know that updated software is available for us to download. So we're going to install now and it will ask us for our root password and we will just let it update now it says that the update is complete so here is our finished Ubuntu Cinnamon desktop ready to use. Don't be surprised if your installation takes considerably longer than mine. I've fast forwarded some screens and just turned the video recorder off completely for screens that took extended periods of time to complete. Otherwise this video would have been a half hour long or so. 
However, these are the steps for you to install Linux on your Raxa X4. My next video will be on customizing the looks of the desktop to make it more appealing to your personal taste. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you have suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I would also appreciate it if you would hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching.